Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick tour and review of the latest build of Windows 10. Um, there was a new Insider Preview uh, released Thursday evening and uh, you can see in the watermark at the bottom right of my screen Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. So it's a Windows Insider Preview build 14.352, the latest in previews and builds. Uh, pretty interesting, actually a very uh, interesting build. Not that much new stuff, um, but um, it you know installed well, had no blue screens, was fairly stable. I've uh, uh, even pretty stable because I've uh, installed it yesterday morning, Friday morning, been uh, using it all day yesterday and used it today also. No problems at all, no blue screens, no weird flaws. You know there was some little things happening here and there on the diff 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 different builds but I haven't found any problems here so the mainly new stuff uh, well you've got of course extensions uh, the extensions of course are kept so my extension for adblock for example worked and uh, you could of course get some more extensions um, there should have been a last pass extension but I don't see it here I don't know if maybe it's US only or something uh, but I've not been able to um, get to that extension page. Uh, this little glitch maybe happened a few times. Can't reach the page. It happened a few times uh, when I was trying to get to the extensions for some reason. But uh, sometimes it works. So there's some kind of little glitch there. But apart from that, it seems to work. So you've got extensions like Adblock, Adblock Plus. Um, LastPass was supposed to be here, but I don't see it. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's not available everywhere. But uh, it's nice to see slowly uh, the you know extensions growing in the uh, store. Um, lots of Cortana stuff in here. More of integration of Cortana with everything. So, for example, if you uh, use Groove Music, uh, you can now say um, things like "Hey Cortana, play uh, in my place from Coldplay," or "Play Coldplay songs," or uh, pause or stop and it's gonna work also you can uh, set a timer so you can say for example set timer for 10 minutes so here you see that the timer has been started for 10 minutes you can of course say how much time is left So it gives you the time left and you can of, of course say cancel timer sure. and here so easy timers that you can actually add and stuff like that so it's mostly there uh, sticky notes improvements you can now set reminders from your sticky notes uh, to Cortana works for all US only version so I was unable to actually try it because it's set to Canada here but it is something that you can set a reminder and have Cortana go to um, you know send you to a, a URL or call somebody a phone, a phone number you can ink or write a phone number and it's gonna you know call it if you want stuff like that if you're a user of ink if you have the capability lots of Windows ink improvements uh, ruler improvements also the fact that if you write a date or a time it can actually set it up and see where and how you want to set it up and you know maybe it's uh, for a um, you're writing on the, the, the maps app for example and you say uh, specific time and date it will actually integrate through the map and just say oh so you want to have an appointment at this date and time stuff like that the Windows game bar improves uh, with a lot of new games to support full screen including League of Legends, World of Warcraft, uh, Battlefield 4, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, Diablo 3 and so on. Um, <laughs> File Explorer icon that got from you know the last build was white and now they got it back to yellow for some reason. A few tweaks here and there on some of the, uh, the icons but very minor stuff basically uh, happening. Also, uh, a few uh, fixes, including which was probably the number one issue, um, is the Intel graphics display, um, HD graphics 3000 and 2000 GPUs, 
were causing all sorts of problems including blue screens and uh, instability in Microsoft Edge. Um, noon issues in this build, a few things uh, including Cortana that might not work well, you have to reboot. Um, extensions may not work for 15 minutes or so after you upgrade, some new Cortana features also. And uh, a few little problems that are still there including um, Norton Antivirus still having a, a problem when this built. One thing that I like also, well, it's probably not from this build, it was probably there for a little while but I didn't see it, uh, the icon now for the Windows Defender. So uh, I like that, you know, it's uh, something that I've always said that I wanted to have, a visual in the taskbar of the antivirus or the Windows Defender um, antivirus because it is uh, nice to have a visual of the antivirus in case there's something. Uh, and it doesn't pop up, at least you, you can click on it easily, find it easily. Don't have to remember to, you know, search for Defender to see it or stuff like that. Apart from that, works really well. Um, haven't had much glitches, uh, basically solid uh, build. I wouldn't be surprised this build will be sent to slowing also um, in the next few days. Um, if you have a problem with a build, because a lot of you have been mentioning you're stuck at an older build and you can't upgrade, uh, last build, 14.342, was sent to slowing and they released the image files, the ISOs. So I think it's uh, really nice to have that because it will uh, um, fix your problems. You can you know download the image and just install from scratch your insider preview. That's what I did. You know I had a previous build that I just couldn't go and move on. And that's what I did. I just uh, installed it from scratch and basically um, had it working really well. Uh, after that, it was f flawless and I haven't had any problems since. You know, sometimes I think with these insider builds, it's not a bad idea to completely restart from scratch. Uh, helps the builds actually work better. And um, so, you know, this is another cool insider preview. Not too many new features, but it's interesting because I don't think we'll have that many new features in the next few days or weeks in Insider Builds as we're getting really, really closer to the uh, July update. So um, that's going to be uh, more of a bug fixes and uh, stability issues that they're just going to try to fix before it's released officially. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hopefully you enjoy our videos and welcome back to our channel. Thank you and have fun playing with that insider preview.